IB friends. It's Jamie down at the bee yard. Excuse me while I prepare. Stung already. I think I'll put that veil back on. <laughs> Got a few uh, stragglers around. Isn't that amazing? I was going to try it without the veil, but you know, that thick, rich, black head of hair I have just, you know, attracts the bees. So, anyway, couldn't hurt too bad. What are we doing today? You ready for a deep dive in a beehive? Okay, this is what we're doing. Uh, we are April what? April 16th? Ow! Now I know how Liam Pierce feels right in the top of the head. Oh, it's been a long time since that. I got one there. Anyway, um, we uh, it's April 16th. I split most of my hives on Monday and I introduced queens and queen cages and it's about time for them to be released. And I wanted to do it on my own this time because I didn't want those queens to be re released prematurely. Uh, I'll show you how that happens. And uh, so I'm going to do it manually. And I'll show you that. And we'll see if we can watch the acceptance of these bees. So here we go. We're going for a deep dive as soon as I can get this off. Now, I wasn't going to use smoke either. so. We'll see if that's a bad idea. Ooh, quite a few bees in here. All right. So that's a little reflexive inner cover. And you know, I forgot everything. I forgot my pry tool, my hive tool, my backup knife. Ah. Let's see if we can get this apart without it. Ah, yes. I could because I just had it apart four days ago. So it's been, today's Thursday, it's been four days. The queen's going to be in there. This is a frame of sugar syrup and pollen. I've been feeding them. I'm going to set that off the side. I don't have to worry about the queen because she's in a cage. And she's right here. And this is a frame of brood that I put in there, cap brood, cap brood, some pollen too, a whole lot of bees. You can see stuck on the side, that's the queen cage. So as you can see, the bees are tending her. Doesn't look like they're trying to sting her or anything like that. So we're going to take a chance, pretty well calculated chance, and we're just going to set this down on the four corners. Don't imagine I'll kill any bees if I do that. I'm going to take this queen cage off. This is an Italian queen. There's the eye there from Oliveira's Queens in Northern California. And those attendant bees don't want to go away, right? So let's just see. Yep, and she's still alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the cork and I'm going to let her walk out. And you should be able to see that. And we'll see how the other bees react to her. So I'm just going to screw this screw in. I'm going to pull and hopefully this cork, cork comes out. And it does. And I'm going to set that right there on the brood. Hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully she'll find her way out real quick. If not, I'll have to edit the video. Hoping not to do that. Come on now. Ah, 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 almost. Come on, hon. There are other ways to introduce the queen. Uh, so the natural way to do it is on the other end of this cage is another cork and a block of soft sugar candy. And what happens is the bees on the inside, she's in there with about four other attendant bees. They eat from the inside and if you pop the cork, all the other bees are going to eat that candy out of there and release her. And that usually takes a couple of days and I've had them release Get, eat that candy out real quick and wind up killing the queen. Um, so I wanted to make sure that didn't happen. 
and she's just walking right past that hole as if it doesn't exist. Um, another way that uh, guys do it is Bob Binney I just saw recently will pop the cork and put a piece of masking tape over it to slow them down a little bit and that way he doesn't have to come back and release her like I'm doing now. Uh, but this is, you know, a more, this is an acceptable method. Another way is when you first get the queen, get a press-in screen, lay her on, a, a, on the brood here, and then press the screen around her. And when that brood emerges, you put her on emergency. Oh, man, she had her head in the hole. Come on. When you put her on the emerge, emerging brood, they automatically accept her and spread her queen pheromone all around. She's just not cooperating. Come on. Yesterday the queen came out. And um, then she begins laying too. They tend her, she begins laying in the replacement holes and that's like guaranteed acceptance. I wonder if there's a dead bee in that hole. Yes, there is. There's a dead bee blocking the hole, a couple of them. That's why that's happening. All right, now we've opened it up. See that? Come on now. There she is, she just walked out. She is on the frame. And you and I, we can all watch together. And we'll see how the bees react to her. She's right. Man, it's so easy to lose sight of them. Right there. You probably saw her before I did. So the bees are checking her out. You know, checking out her pheromone. Four days ago, they had a different mother, you know. And if I had released her right away, they would have killed her. But as you can see, they're surrounding her. And uh, they're not acting aggressively. And she's just, you know, she's not running for her life. So that looks like a successful introduction of this queen into the colony. And she's even cleaning her back legs. They're get, getting to know her. And pretty soon she'll be all adjusted. She'll swell up and begin laying eggs, probably within a day. So I'm very confident that this queen is going to be the new head of this colony. And in a few days, I'll recheck and I'll see her brood pattern, make sure that uh, she's laying well, and then I'll continue with this nuke or sell this nuke uh, and in my next video I'm going to show how to introduce a nuke so let's place that back in <clears throat> making sure that we she's right in the center of the frame so I really don't have to worry I know they got plenty of food I'm gonna put her food back in they have lots of pollen and uh, let's peel this out. Going to put my vapor barrier on. There's the old cage. We'll shake them back in. Put our insulated lid back in. I'd love to have a spacer, but I don't. And there you go. The hive is facing reverse because I didn't want any confusion between the two colonies. I have it butted right up side here to keep warm because we had a couple cool nights. So I would say that that was a success. So thanks for joining me. I'm going to do the other six and I will be back with another video probably how to uh, take this from a nuke size colony, put it into a, a box this big um, with five more frames uh, so that you do that safely and successfully. All right, see you next time. Thanks.